Off the coast of Vancouver Island lies something special, a hidden gem for the adventurers and the dreamers, where you can see some of the most incredible wildlife in Canada. Welcome to our extraordinary adventure on the floating in the Enchanter. We started off our trip to BC in Nanaimo, of course having some of the delicious and famous Nanaimo bars and also exploring some of the area of Nanaimo. Going to Hornby Island was definitely a highlight for me and I highly recommend going if you have some time to go there. We've been to Vancouver Island before but we had a far different experience there than last time we went. The wildfire emergency in the United States has created a hazardous situation for people living in British Columbia. The air we're breathing right now is equivalent to smoking 20 packs of cigarettes. This is the afternoon sky in Vancouver. The mountains and skyline are shrouded in smoke and there isn't a glimmer of sunlight to be seen. This time around we had nothing but blue skies and we were so excited to get our adventure started. We had some time to kill before our 4pm water taxi was going to show up so we grabbed a few coffees and had some really delicious breakfast at this breakfast spot called Bravocados. You should definitely check this place out if you're going to go to Tofino. After a quick boat ride over, welcome to the Enchanter. A floating bed and breakfast located in Euclid, BC. This floating inn is fully decked out with five rooms for you to choose from. We just got on board. This is our room, it's called the princess room. So it's like, it's, this is huge. It's so big, this is crazy. Well, we're gonna show you the rest of the boat. There's a collection of DVDs below deck for you to choose from. Here is the main state room, which was also really cool, with a vintage kind of aesthetic vibe that made you feel like you went back in time. The main saloon is the largest common space on board, and this is the perfect place to grab a drink and take in the views. Here's the sun deck, which was probably my favorite place on the ship, with even better views of the surrounding area, and this is probably your best bet for seeing any wildlife. Here's the floating sauna, which is also a really good place to warm up on those cold days. And here is the main dining area where you'll have all of your meals. Let's talk quickly about the history of the Enchanter. Its original name was Bernico. Built in 1927, this ship has seen a lot. From shipping supplies like fuel, logging chains, and fish around the coast. The current owners, Taylor and Josh, had nothing but a dream. To restore the Enchanter and welcome guests once again. With some hard work, dedication, and a vision, they were able to accomplish it and restore the Enchanter, now back on the seas, taking in new guests. Lead the way. Go in the sauna. Yeah, way better. This is gonna be much needed because we're about to go. It's gonna fog up right now, but we're gonna head in there soon. Yeah, go. Get one shot at this. Go. You better be filming. I am filming. It's cold? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good job. 
<laughs> just ran back in. You can't think about it too much or you'll never go. Three, just do it. two, one, go. <laughs> <laughs> We just grabbed our coffee and we're up on the sun deck taking in our last little morning view of before we have to head out this morning. The shoreline here, once low tide comes, sometimes you'll see bears and even wolves actually from here. So that'd be really cool to see that. The captain also mentioned that there were two killer whales that came down the channel here yesterday morning. So fingers crossed, it would be super cool if we got to see some killer whales too on our little trip. It's about 7.30, almost eight o'clock right now. And breakfast is served at nine by the onboard chef. And then at 10, we'll be heading out of here, but we're hoping to weaken a little stand-up paddleboard before we go, because look at the water, the, the water, water is glass. Is super calm. And for those of you that are kind of worried about, uh, even I thought if you're worried about like seasickness or anything like that, it was like so calm and so still last night, like I said, like a baby. So and I had a great, great sleep. The boat is double anchored, so it doesn't really move that much. Okay, have fun out there. We were unfortunately only able to stay on board the Enchanter for one night, but we know that the memories we made and the bonds that we created will last a lifetime. Oh, and by the way, we did see a bear on shore on our way out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and as always, I'll see you in the next one.